Howdy folks, Cowboy Pirate here. Got the Wookiee with me in the back. Don't know if you can see him. We got one thing on our mind today. We've been wanting some perch fillets for lunch. This is a meat hunt. Stick around. Get down here. Let's go get them perch. Get some fillets for lunch. Yeah, we're at Rockport. Early morning. It's chilly. They even had to switch to the winter cowboy hat. All right, so the plan is we're going to start searching with a pugly perch bug, cast and retrieve, see if we can find a school, a pod. So we got the nice sandy transition there off this rocky point. So we'll work this kind of shallow to deep off this steep point we'll do the same around this curve there to that cove if we find them we'll set up a second rod uh, we'll just dead stick that second rod while we work continue to work the pugly perch bug but let's see if we can find them rookie last time just as the sun started to poke up so when they got active we may be a little early but holy crap my fingers is numb all right all right the setup uh, is this pugly perch bug it's a floating jig tied like a grasshopper beetle set on a drop shot sinker so it's about six eight inches up it's a great little search rig and just like a hope right off of this point in that transition we got to pick up real quick with the pugly perch pretty good bite hopefully this will be a little better size than yesterday let's see what we got and it is not a perch it is a trout that's all right too. You left must like the pugly perch bugs as well. It was like a little brown. Cool beans. Not what we're hunting for though. We'll throw him back. Well, this is turning out a little bit awkward. Now we got a rainbow on the line. So that's about nine species on the pugly perch adding rainbows and browns, but we're not finding our school of perch and that rainbow took it deep. Probably gonna end up harvesting that bugger. Lucky, where's the perch? We're not after trout today. Well, this feels a bit more like a perch fight. So we may have found them over here on the right hand side of this little column. Yeah, there's my perch. There he is. About time, feller. Wookie, find more of these. That's what we're looking for for the fryer. It's not a bad perch either. How about that, feller? Yeah. Wookie, the dead stick rod's got one. Let's see what's on it. Probably a trout, we just kind of dunk it a worm on the bottom. It's got a pretty good pull, whatever it is. Most likely a trout. No, nope, good perch. Dang, you got your perch. Another really nice one. Let's see what we got this time. What we got, Wookie? Oh, dandy. That's a dandy yellow perch. That old floating jig head's really getting some nice ones out of here out of Rockport today. Check that one out, Wookie. Now listen, Wookie. Last time you released all my perch when you let my bag go. It's going to be awful hard to have a fish fry if you keep bringing them back down and putting them in the water. There's another one, Wookie. Now, seriously, you got to quit hauling them away. Stop hauling them away. It take forever for me to get a fish fry going. That's a little bit fatter one. That's more what we're looking for. Quick. The other day, we brought Cookie over here to Rockport. She had a couple of lures she wanted to try, some pink ones and some pugly perch. Show you a couple of them clips while I'm seeing if I can locate this school again and find a bigger perch. These are pretty fun. Check them out. 
And the most important part of taking cookie fishing is finding a good bathroom. Uh, the water's that way, girl. Okay, let's see that bass. That's not a bass. Your wookie bug caught a perch. Yeah, so show them the wookie bug. <laughs> the, our German Shepherd was shedding like crazy, so I added wookie hair to the pugly perch bugs and made them bigger, trying to give her something to go after smallmouth with. We'll see if we can do a little better than that. I'm gonna bet that you catch a fish as you reel that pugly perch bug in. Don't make a liar out of me. What did I tell you? <laughs> right there. there you go. Like three feet from the shore. <laughs> How was that for a guess though, huh? He's a little better. We can add him to the play pile. No monsters yet though, huh? And where is your bass hiding? All right, Cookie, now what you gonna do? I'm gonna try this made especially for me, pink flig. Yeah. I'm into pink flowers. Yeah, pink flags made in the methods of Pat, but looks nothing like his. <laughs> Got a little work to go still, but I'll bet you it catches something. Let's give her a go. Okay. Cookie, is that a pink flag perch? Oh my goodness gracious, that's a monster. Well, Mario, that perch bite was nuts for a half an hour this morning. We were into them hard and heavy and uh, I was cherry picking and trying to just keep big ones and wished I'd kept more small ones because at about a half hour it shut right off and there was absolutely zero bite. So I don't know if they pushed out deep on me, I'll pass my cast range or what, but man did they ever shut down. So I had a probably a half a dozen decent ones in the bag and then you tip the dang bag over in the lake holy crap i think i got two left to play but uh it was fun i just wish that bite would have stuck around for a bit longer i think them bigger perch were coming around the swing there and we'd have got into some that's how fishing is on to the next adventure huh?